In this video presentation, we will be talking about chapter one, background of the study. The background of the study is equivalent to introduction part of the qualitative research. And therefore, as you are going to create your introduction, it will be the same as creating your background of the study. But the term that we use in quantitative research is background of the study and not introduction. Okay, let's go over the part. You have to introduce most likely the subject or the topic of the study. You have to also cite some related literature on the international problem or that problem exists internationally in the ASEAN countries, nationally and locally. And also the research gap as well as the aim of your research. Now let's go over this one by one. The introduction, in the introduction part, all you have to do is put or input any information that would somehow introduce the subject of your study. It is any factual information that would state what that subject is. What is that thing that you are going to study? Or is that thing really existing? And how is it existing? Things like that. Let's say, for example, you are going to study about stress. You are not yet going to post that stress is a problem. In the introduction part of the background of the study, you are just going to introduce stress. You might take any related literature, let's say, for example, according to the study of Banco, that stress is one of the most common problem in the society. It somehow, let's say for example, it affects 30% of the human population, let's say for example. So that is just introduction. Even if it states there that it is a problem, it did not actually justify why is it a problem. Now let's go over the international ASEAN local problem. In here, all you have to do is put or cite some problem. Okay, now this problem, that one, should be really a problem. You have to justify in this part why is it a problem. Let's say, for example, internationally. Okay, let's clear that first. Internationally, you have to look for a problem that exists internationally, like, for example, in Australia. Let's try first. Is this a problem when we say, okay, let me put some here. Students are sleeping in class. Let's say for example, okay, students are sleeping in classes. Okay, let's say for example that this is what you found in the internet or any site or any study that proves that students are really sleeping in class or any classes. Now, is this a problem? If you say that this is a problem, then you are mistaken. Why? Because this is not yet justified. For you to know or for you to prove that this is really a problem, you have to give us the justification why that is a problem. So when you find students are sleeping in class as your problem internationally that is not yet valid or let's say um, okay or correct. Instead, you have to put here or somehow search for an RRL that states students who often sleep in class gets failing grades. Now, now that it has justification, failing grade here becomes the justification that sleeping in class is actually very problematic. So do not put here international, ASEAN, national, and local, do not put 
any factual information that is not a problem because if you are just going to put factual information you are creating an introduction and not the uh, problem or the international CN national and local scope of the problem so the same goes in the uh, CN let's say for example that you are going to look for uh, Malaysia so look for a problem in Malaysia that is related to your topic let's say for example stress now when you say okay, let's erase that one first okay when you say stress is a problem this is not yet a problem you have to ask the question why is it a problem and the answer to this question this question to the, the answer of this question is also the things that you have to put in your ASEAN, uh, ASEAN or anywhere in this section, local, national, international, or ASEAN. So it is better to put there, let's say for example, according to the study of, to the study of, let's say for example, Banco. Um, 20, let's say 2020. Stress hinders the overall, let's say for the overall productivity of humans. Productivity of humans. Of humans. This, uh, the study, let's say for example, the study shows that most people who are stressed get, let's say for example, an average lifespan of 30 years. Let's say for example. Now, 30 years is a very short year a life, for a lifespan, that is, okay, 30 years. Now, so this becomes now a problem because according to the study, stress hinders the overall productivity of humans and the study also shows that most people who are stressed gets an average lifespan of 30 years and the average lifespan of a healthy human being, let's say, is 75 years. This 75 is way greater than 30. And 30 is too short. Let's say it's too short. And the problem here, uh, it becomes a problem now because this is justified. When you answer the question, why is it a problem or how does it become a problem? Because it leads to this, the span of 30 years. So the same as the other, ASEAN, national, and local. Now, to, uh, you have to remember that in national, you have to select any news, any RRL, any study about a specific place in your country that is not specifically in your city. Let's say, for example, that you are living in Tagum City and therefore you can find uh, problems that exist or studies that concludes that that, that problem is, re uh, is really existing in let's say for example Pampanga or Pasay or Montinlupa yet you are in the Tagum city and therefore if you found something that is in Tagum city you have to put that in the local area or the uh, the part of your background of the study okay so i hope that these four is now clear next the research gap so when most of the students who are defending their paper don't know what research gap is. Research gap is actually what is the gap that you are feeling or what is it that other researchers has not yet studied or 
yeah, research all about. Let's say, for example, you're studying about stress. I believe that there are a lot of stress research or researches that is related to stress. There may be thousands of them or even just hundreds of them. So what's new? What is it? Okay, let's type that one. What is it that is not? Uh, what is it in your research? What is, uh, what is in your research that is not in other researches that studies the same topic, for example? Or in short, just ask this question, what is new? or the novelty of your research. What's new with your research? What's the difference between your research and the, their research or those other researchers that talks about stress, for example, or let's say talk about plants and fertilizers and the such. So this research gap is actually easy to answer in a way. For example, if you can remember in the title making, you have to specify the subject of your research if you have different subject that is not uh, you have a different subject let's say for example in california they studied all about senior citizen or people age 60 and above your study are people who are 40 to 60 and therefore that subject this the respondents of your study is different and therefore you have a different study and that gap is now filled. Next is the time. If you conducted that research now or in the current time and there's a research in the past that is the same as that, you can justify that the research gap you're, you're filling is actually the time because there may be different results when time is included as a factor. Let's say, for example, in culture, especially in culture research, time changes culture. And the result of the research before with the same topic, with the same subject may be different because there's a lot of changes that happens throughout the whole time or the period. Okay, so another is the locality. Let's say, for example, especially when you are talking about culture, behavior, and the such, or psychological researches. Locality plays a big role because different localities has different culture, different tradition, different norms, beliefs, and such, and therefore different results. Okay, uh, another one is subject, time, locality. It could be, hmm, what more? Of course, the topic. So different topic means different results. If your topic is really unique and novel, when we say novel, really new, that no other researches has been found or was found that is related or somehow, let's say, does the research or your research, then that is a very novel kind of research. So those are in the um, research gap. Now, the aim section, you're just going to create one sentence or two sentences that starts with the aim of this research is to give us a brief overview on what you, what is the purpose of this research? Objective purpose, like direct, uh, direct purpose. Are you going to create an alternative antibacterial agent? Are you going to study about how stress affects learning outcomes or the learning productivity of a person or a student? Are you going to study or the aim is the aim of your research is to look on the relationship between stress and let's say for example, um, interpersonal relationship. So those are the things that you have to consider when doing the um, background of the study. So let's go to another example. Let's proceed and have 
one example. So let me clear that one, clear our drawings. Okay, here. You have to remember the basic technicalities first. If you can see here, this is just one inch margin, one inch margin, 1.5 inches margin. Remember, this is the top, this is the right, this is the left. And also, the bottom part of this page has the same one inch margin. Only the left has 1.5 inches. Okay. So, all of these here, let me clear that first. Zoom out. Okay, this is the chapter one. When you are doing the chapter one, you have to type this or input this one. Not bold. And the only capital letter or uppercase letter is the first letter of the chapter, which is chapter one. And one is not in words, but in number. Next, the problem is setting all uppercase letters and bold. Then you have the background of the study, only the B of the background and the S of the study are in capital letters or uppercase. All of these here are in double spacing. You have to double space and click remove after paragraph. Okay, as you can see, if I'm going to somehow highlight this one there's a box here it's because we have a number there okay we have a number in there okay it can't be seen but there okay for you to let's say for example you have to add the page number of course because chapter one background and its setting in every chapter you have a number but then you are not allowed to show it so this is chapter one. Let's say, for example, that you have top of the page, go to top of the page, and then play number one. So that's it. And then click Control A to select or highlight everything. Book Antiqua, of course, remember that Book Antiqua is our um, font style, 12. Now, okay. in every chapter, may it be chapter one or chapter two, let me delete that first. You are not allowed to show the number. So in order for you to hide that number, click insert, go to shape, click any shape, cover that one up, go to format, shape field is white, shape outline is no outline. And therefore, you cannot see the numbers. Uh, if you can just drag that, uh, see, that one. So every chapter, let's go to chapter two. Let's find the chapter two. Chapter two. Okay, here's the chapter two. So there's also a number here in this area. However, you cannot see the number because it is hidden by a shape. So if we're going to see, that's page 18. So let's cover that one up again. Okay, so let's go back to chapter one. That's the first of the page. Let's go and remember, that this is book antiqua okay there's a problem here because this should be 13. that one this is book antiqua i oh, no, 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 not 13 12. book antiqua 12. okay also if you can see this is justified okay to know if this is justified or not just look on the sides it should be on a straight straight line so in order for you to justify that one, you have to click this icon here in the toolbar. Okay, let's clear our drawings. Okay, then if you're going to observe and read and also criticize, this one is the introduction. It did not pose any problem. It just introduced about antibiotics. So this study is actually entitled the antibacterial or dactylon as an antibacterial as an alternative antibacterial agent against Staphylococcus aureus. So there are some typo. Okay. So this one is according to Gelband et al. 2015. 
So one of the most conventional medicines that are prof profusely uh, used by people all over the world is antibiotics. So he just gave an, a factual information to introduce all about antibiotics. Then go, and then he proceeded with, let's say, um, yeah, same as the introduction. He could actually just put it there. See? Okay. So this one cited, we also have here somewhat like an introduction. So this is not really made well. However, triclosan is an ingredient highly used as bactericide in personal care products. And then it was reported that they found out that substance triclosan was first registered as pesticide. Therefore, if this triclosan is present, in toothpaste, soap, and antibacterial, you are actually using pesticide. And then the later study shows that it impairs skeletal muscle contractility and muscle function. Now, this is now the problem. And this problem is in the international part. Why? Because it is from Unifor uh, University of California, Davis, and this is an international research. So this is now justified that this is really a problem because as you can see here, it impairs skeletal muscle contractility and function. If you ask the question, why is it a problem, then this impairs skeletal muscle contractility and mus muscle function is the answer to that. And this justifies that question or this justifies the, yeah, that this is a problem. Okay. Then the only thing that's missing here is actually the ASEAN. There is no ASEAN here, but there is a local. Uh, this is the national, and we cannot find the local. So hopefully this research should have a local um, scope of the problem, that the problem actually exists. If you are in Tagum City, you can just say or put there that since Triclosan is present in toothpaste, and toothpaste are used by the people of Tagum City or the Tagum menus, then that is now a problem. Because remember that in the first paragraph here, triclosan is actually um, a pesticide that impairs muscle function and muscle contractility. Okay, and then after that, he also stated, uh, in reference to the preceding paragraph, along with the desire to find a naturally organic bacteria, the study is conceived too. So this is the aim of his study. Just directly state objectively what is the aim of your study. The study is conceived to investigate if Bermuda grass or Cilodon dactylon can be used as an alternative antibacterial agent against Staphylococcus aureus. So he, uh, the researcher or the researchers of this study, the aim of the, uh, this research is to investigate if Bermuda can be used as an alternative antibacterial agent against Staphylococcus aureus. Do not put here because you want to help the people, because this is beneficial to the community. That is not the objective of your study. That is, let's say, it's more like a dramatic way to put your aim. Uh, this is the significance of the study, but that is not the aim and the objective of your study. The objective of your study is this, to investigate if Bermuda grass can be used as an alternative antibacterial agent against Staphylococcus aureus. Directly as that. No more drama. Drama can be put in the significance of the study or the importance of the study. Here, it is not going to be uh, a good thing to be added here. If you can also criticize this, um, this research paper, this lacks, let's put one, the research gap. You can start the research gap by saying that there are no researches found that focuses Okay, there are no research, ah, no, no, there, there are no research that, uh, there are no research found, there is no research, I can't, uh, okay, let's, let's, let's try to paraphrase that one. No research can be found 
that focuses on the possibility of Bermuda grass as an alternative antibacterial agent. Additionally, there are no no researches, no research, no research, no researches can be found that studies Staphylococcus aureus. Though let's say there are studies that talks about uh, that studied um, Staphylococcus aureus, but let, let's just say that this topic is really new and this topic has not is not yet studied or was not yet studied by any people or any by any people on any time or in the past or in the present. So this becomes your research of the uh, the research gap of your study. So in the research gap of your study, just put there the um, the this the answer to this question. What is new to this study? It is new because no research can be found that focuses on the possibility of Bermuda grass as an alternative antibacterial agent. That means no one attempted to do that. So if there are people who attempted to do that, they may have not yet published that one online or internationally or even nationally. And therefore, you can do that and maybe if you want, you can be the first one to publish that one. And if that is really Let's say successful, you can patent and put an intellectual property right on your research paper. So that is the research gap. Okay, so let's clear that all. So this is how, okay, let's remove that again. So this is how your um, background of the study would look like. And here, chapter one, then double space. These are all double space. Remember that one, this one, double space, this two. Background of the study, you have the international, you need to have the ASEAN, no ASEAN here. That's one of the lacking points of this research. You also need to have the national, you have the national, you have, there's no, local here so this that one is also a lacking point for this research the this one is just newly created research gap and this one is the aim of the study just directly state the aim of the study so this is what we call the background of the study so if you have all of those points and you really justify that that topic or that there is a problem that's really existing, then that is a good background of the study.